Today we're doing some channel updates, giving away a large format camera kit, showing some viewer mail, and talking about Photostock 2022. Hey there, and welcome to Large Format Friday. I'm your host, Matt Mirage. If this is the first time you're stopping by the channel, there's a playlist of the fourth season that we're completing today. And if you haven't subscribed yet, Fridays are the place where we're gonna be here and we're gonna be chatting about something large format. So to start things off, another really cool print made its way into the LFF mailbox. Let me show you. Check this out. This is a black and white silver gelatin print sent in from Gary in Canada. Sorry, it's still got its protective sleeve. I'm gonna take this off. Gary, thanks for sending this. Look at the amazing job he did. It's on some glossy RC stock, but just look at all that beautiful detail you can see in the trees. You can tell it's four by five because all of that detail, you can just go in for days and not see any grain. It's got a really nice neutral tone to it. A little bit of metadata here. This was shot with Gary's Chamonix four by five on T-Max 100, hence the never seeing grain on Ilford Multigrade 4 and developed in an Ansco 130 developer. Gary, thanks so much for sending this in. This is gonna get added into the LFF viewer gallery. Got quite the collection. I think we will have to do a show at some point because there's so much good work is coming in. Okay, so next up, uh, let's give away a camera. Months and months ago, so way earlier in the season, somebody generously sent in an entire Graflex 4x5 Crown Graphic Kit. Now, selfishly, I have been shooting around with this camera, really one to test it and make sure everything was light, tight, and working, but not only is it working, this, I would say, is up there in the top two or three Crown Graphic Kits I've ever seen. Ooh, that was pretty loud. This one does come with a 135 Xenar. It does have the Sports Finder. It does have an appropriate viewfinder patch, and it does have the CalArt rangefinder, which is actually in decent calibration for the 135 lens. I was even able to use this by offsetting the infinity stops and counting on the rangefinder focus for using the Lomo Graphlock instant film back. I'll put a link up there if you wanna see some of that in action. But anyway, it's been too much of a fun camera to use. It was nice to have something relatively portable in the world of large format, but it is time to let this thing go to a new home. Oh, let me show you what else is gonna come with this kit and then we'll talk about all the details. So the lucky winner is gonna get that four x five crown graphic with a 135 Xenar lens, two really nice metal right way holders that are completely light tight. They have been film tested. You're going to get this Graflex two by three film back or six by seven. If you wanna shoot some medium format or roll film, you don't wanna go right into sheets right away. So you'll be able to shoot roll film and this will just pop into the universal or graph lock back. You'll actually receive an additional four by five back, including the sports finder graph lock back, additional ground glass and the really nice shade that comes along with that. So this is a huge value. And finally, you'll also be receiving a 90 millimeter wide angle lens, this adorable little 90 millimeter F6.8. That's gonna make for a fantastic two lens, four by five kit that's ready to shoot. So how do you enter this? Well, you can go to mirage.com and click where it says LFF and then you'll see giveaway. Go ahead and click that and scroll down and you can enter all of your details. I need all those details there so I can get in touch with you and send this camera. You do have to be over 18 and you do have to live in a country where I can send this camera to you. For more of the rules, again, you can head over to mirage.com slash giveaway and you'll be able to find all of those details. This giveaway is gonna run for exactly one month from today's episode, so you're gonna have until midnight Eastern Standard Time of June 20th, so right before the summer solstice, you have a chance to enter. No purchase necessary, you don't have to be an LFF member, I'd love it if you were, but that's not gonna get you any extra brownie points. All you have to do is enter at mirage.com slash giveaway. Link is in the description below. Please share this. The last few giveaways have gone well, but I wanna make this my biggest one yet. So enter today, good luck, and share this with some uh, folks that you know could use a large format kit. Starting to get a little bit darker and a little bit dingier in here. Let's head outside, it's really nice, come on. Okay, so it's not like super nice, but let's call it Ohio nice, huh? All right, let's keep heading this way. So you may have noticed the last few episodes of LFF, I haven't been exactly uploading weekly. This wasn't something that was intentional to start, but it's also kind of ended up that way. 
There's an incredible amount of crunch that goes into trying to make a weekly large format Friday program happen. And I really appreciate everybody that's been so patient while we kind of transition to a once every two weeks type schedule. Uploading every two weeks is also going to give me the ability to be a little bit more flexible in terms of other types of content. I know it's hard to believe, but film photography is having quite a renaissance right now, and I want to share all aspects of photography, not necessarily large format. That means talking about medium format, darkroom, alternative process, a lot of the stuff you've seen me cover, but maybe cast it out to a bit of a broader audience. I appreciate everybody that's been on the journey with me for over these last two years, and I'm going to keep sharing as much large format as physically possible. Ah. Oh, isn't that weird? I'm wearing shorts now. Actually, these are just my hiking pants. They got a big hole in them, so I just cut them off, you know? Let them breathe a little bit. This is why you don't see me wearing more shorts on the channel. So Photostock 2022, a little over a month from now, at the end of June, all the way up in Harbor Springs, Michigan, Mr. Bill Schwab is gonna host an eclectic mix of photographers from all over the US and probably even a few from out of the country. Bill's been doing this for almost 20 years now and he really knows how to throw a party. This is going to be all the way up at, if this is the mitten of Michigan, it's all the way up here in Harbor Springs, Michigan. Actually, this year it's gonna be in Cross Village. If you wanna find out more, including registration, who's gonna be on the schedule at Photostock 2022, you can head to photostockfest.com. That's P-H-O-T-O-S-T-O-C-K-F-E-S-T dot com. You might even see yours truly on the list there. As always, if you have any questions about the large format photographic process, you can always feel free to drop those down below in the comments. And for those long form questions, you can hit me up, largeformatquestions at gmail.com. Thanks again for stopping by and we'll catch you next season for LFF.